Hello and welcome to another Here's the Storm quick tip. Today I wanted to go over some really basic Diablo stuff. Uh, I got a message asking to show off like the APOC combo and things. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So first off the main thing is like to look at the range of your shower charge. And so what you want to be aiming at here is uh, roughly here-ish. You want to be uh, just about the edge of the shower charge range in an ideal world. But you don't want the very, very edge, because what happens is you often bump heroes back. And if you do that, then you will actually not be able to immediately flip them into your APOC combo. So what I'm going to try and do here is R, Q, E. And it's just that easy. You always start with APOC. You don't hit it after. And, uh, yeah. Hope... You're going to go R, Q, E. Boom. And if you can, you want to give E just a little, like a split little second of uh, delay before you do it. Let's just kill him, get a reset. And the reason for that is because it takes 1.75 seconds for the APOC to actually go off. Uh, so if you do it too fast, what happens is they'll actually have control of their character and be able to go off um sorry lost my train of thought uh they'll be able to respond so if they have a teleport or an unstoppable they can pop it before the apoc goes off uh something else to consider is because of medallion as soon as they see the apoc someone with low ping and good reflexes is going to be able to uh, just medallion on reaction and screw up your entire combo. So that's something you got to consider consider because you know 90 seconds to set this up The other thing I wanted to show off really quick is the double flip combos, which is uh, What you do with domination, it's a really big damage boost. So let's see if I can get it so you want to charge flip move charge and ideally you want to weave autos and fire stomps in between I'm just going to kill him so I get a reset so he gets full health. You can also work in APOC and even Hellgate in between, depending. So just something to keep in mind. So yeah, so ideally you want to like line them up against the wall, you, which he doesn't want to do because of course. So we'll just set it up for him. See, and it's very easy. You got to really look at where they're positioned when you flip and then charge. Because sometimes your angle of the shower charge is not where you expect it to be. The other thing is you'll have about a quarter of a second to kind of re-maneuver around where the enemy is. So maybe you can set up uh, a better charge. If, there were, if these walls were a little bigger, this would be a lot easier to show off, unfortunately. Also, so there. And you can see, you can even tag the very tip of the angle here uh certain angles will unfortunately mess this up but for the most part that's what you're getting so do that flip so that's ideally what you want to have happen and you'll see there it got my charge got screwed up and i couldn't tell you why because dabble is just kind of a buggy character oh fine whatever flip you charge you and then the only other minor piece of advice I see people not taking advantage of, you can queue to minions. You can queue to structures. Use that to get away from things. Like, boom. You can go huge amounts of distance very quickly if you just shatter charge of these things. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're playing Diablo. All right. I'm going to try one more time to get a better looking combo here. And then I'm just going to log out. So, boom 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 so yeah minus the the awkwardness of setting that up ideally you get a charge you get an auto if you're fast you can get a fire stomp but i just wanted to show you flip and you charge immediately into the next wall so q flip charge yeah like that and again depending on what your talents are for example if you win eternal flames you can spam Fire Stomp in between a lot more doing that. APOC. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.